<laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang Bang. That look on my face was because I was sucking in this big ball of gas coming off of that 240B. And it had to do with how that 240B operated, it had nothing to do with the rugged suppressors Razor 762 that was on the end of it. It is their brand new centerfire rifle can. It was a demo unit. I don't even have mine Form 3 to me yet because it is just available as you're watching this video. It is now available for order. But I wanted to give you a glimpse of the belt-fed rating that both of Rugged Suppressor Centerfire Rifle cartridges have. I am going to be putting a, together a video with Rugged Suppressors maybe in February with SHOT Show coming up in January, uh, abusing their cans on a number of different belt-fed weapons just to show how tough their, their cans are. But in this video, I wanted to introduce you to the Razor, and that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Razor 762 is a compact centerfire rifle can made by Rugged Suppressors. Shown here along with Rugged's Modular Surge 762, the 6.4 inch Razor provides shooters with suppression in a package shorter than the Surge, even in its own short configuration. As you'd expect, the Razor shares much of its design with the Surge. The tube is Cerakoted 17.4 pH stainless steel. The baffles are the same fully welded Stellite core, and they both share the exact same removable end caps. The Razor comes with a 30 caliber end cap and removal tool, but you can get a 5.56 caliber end cap to knock a few decibels off shooting appropriate subcalibers. It's only natural to ask if you can screw the Surge's adapt module onto the Razor, and while that is technically possible, there are two important reasons never to do it. Number one, end modules are timed to a specific Surge, and the baffles won't likely line up with a random Razor, so it will sound bad. And two, According to the ATF, doing so is considered manufacturing a new silencer, which would require a new $200 tax stamp to do it legally. Like the Surge 762, the Razor 762 is also rated up to 300 Remington Ultramag. And yes, it's even belt-fed rated. Rugged Suppressors lives up to their name by overbuilding their cans to reduce the chance that you'll need their no-questions-asked lifetime warranty. That said, whatever you manage to do to your Razor, regardless of fault, Rugged will fix or replace it free of charge. The Razor uses the same quick detached dual taper locking system and mounts, including the single baffle 5.56 brake and the three baffle 7.62 brake I've been using with my Surge. However, the Razor comes with a new 17.4 pH stainless steel R3 flash mitigation system, which is only one and a half inches long and 2.9 ounces, with a design that eliminates a tuning fork ring found on other three-prong flash hiders. The Razor does get a tastefully small, straight Razor logo laser engraved opposite the manufacturer info, which is a nice touch that you don't find on the Surge. However, the biggest appeal of the Razor might be the fact that its MSRP comes in $350 less than the Surge. Like other compact cans, the Razor does give up suppression over the full-size Surge, but you still get all of the muzzle flash and blast control along with plenty of suppression to make a difference. I think this is a comparison that most people are going to be interested in. It's the Surge in the short configuration up top with the Razor down on the bottom and you can see it's definitely shorter and lighter. What I think is really cool is that they added this little straight Razor graphic there on, on the can. And just like with the Surge, this whole section here is beefed up so that if you damage anything in the can, including the tube itself, this is double thick. So they're going to be able to repair pretty much anything that you're going to be able to do. It's part of their lifetime warranty and they build the can from the ground up to make it a whole lot easier to take care of their customers in the event that somebody does something with their can. This is also new from Rugged. It's their three-prong flash hider. And the best thing about it is you can see these little divots kind of machined in there. This will not ping when you're shooting it without a can on, which is the most annoying thing about the flash hider mounts that I have from, from one other company in particular. But you can see it's the same double taper design as the, the mounts that I've shown you before on my Rugged Surge review. You've got a taper on the front and you have a taper on the back. And the way it works is the razor threads on. Of course, I'm threading backwards. Just imagine that this is turning onto a rifle. And the front taper is now pressed against the blast baffle in the front. And now all we do is 
tighten that lock collar down and it presses spring arms into the back taper. And now there's no way that this can is gonna come off of that brake. It just, it just cannot happen. It is probably the most secure mount that's out there. Certainly the most secure that I have seen. Now it's time to shoot this thing. And while you're watching, notice that there is no gas being blown into my face. Ha <laughs> ha! I want to empty this now. I think I am. Screw it. I'll load it back up. That's it. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's getting hot through the handguard on my thumb. Woo. That is super nice. Oh, I want both. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a good combo right there. If you're in the market for a compact can, it's unlikely that suppression is your top priority, but it's nice to know that the Razor performs extremely well when compared to other rifle cans in the six to seven inch range. I dug a tire out of the berm and it just rolled down. Man, I wish I had the camera pointing that way. <laughs> That's a major excavation right there. Woo! Now it's time for some 300 blackout subsonic. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so awesome. And it sounds great even though it's short. Shooting my 308 bolt gun revealed that the recoil control of the Razor is slightly reduced from the surge, but if that's your main priority, you should run a straight break and skip the suppression. <laughs> Man. The sound of that 308 slamming into that mud. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, a big chunk of dirt just came off the berm. Bigger than a bowling ball. That is fun. A couple things that are really important for you to know about what you heard in this video. First of all, I use some pretty expensive microphones. And so what you hear in my videos when I shoot suppressed is gonna sound louder than you'll hear on videos done by people using different microphones because my microphones don't attenuate as fast, meaning they don't cut off the loud, loud noises as quickly as cheaper microphones, even cheaper microphones that, that I have. So that means that suppressed shooting on all of my videos is gonna sound louder than you'll hear on other videos. But the other thing you need to know is when you're, if you're thinking about what kind of can to get and you don't know whether or not to get a compact can, they are going to be louder than a full size can. If suppression is your number one priority, you're in the market for the Surge 7.62 modular 
center fire rifle can that Rugged makes. And I'll put a link in the video description so you can go to my review of that can. It's a fantastic can. It's my current number one recommendation for a first center fire rifle can for, for new can buyers. But if you're looking for a compact can to help reduce recoil, to eliminate muzzle blast, to eliminate muzzle flash, and to take the edge off of the sound of uh, an unsuppressed gunshot, the Razor 762 meters right there with other cans in that six to seven inch range. That's why I put the meter figures in this video because that's really what you wanna see. But what you can hear, why I still shoot suppressed and, and give my color commentary everything is you can hear that that can has a really nice deep tone, which a lot of manufacturers are going to, but they certainly got it with the, the Razor even though it's a shorter can. And that deeper tone is a lot easier on my ears than higher pitch tones of the same volume. Anybody with tinnitus knows what I'm talking about. And I think in general, people think deeper tone cans sound better than higher pitch tone cans. And I'm, I'm really happy with what I heard from that Razor. If you wanna learn more about it, it is now available. If you're watching this, it's available to order. Be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to check me out on Instagram and Facebook at the links down here. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.